Hello. How you doing? Welcome back. It's been about a week. It's been almost exactly one full week since the stream was last live. There's a lot to talk about. There's quite a few things to discuss. Hope you had a good time on that show. It was, uh, it was a ton of fun to do. We had some technical problems in the middle of the stream, which, weirdly enough, uh, when we changed Twitch ingest servers, it fixed it. But hey, but, but whoa, we got a really important first question. Do you still have the mustache? Well, you're gonna have to find out. You'll have to find out very soon. You should have seen what was going on up in the uh, production truck. Community Jake was assembling a new computer. He was literally making a new computer. He was building a computer up there. Because he was like, is it the video processor? Because we had three or four straight innings of, it was fine. It was, the stream was perfect. No, no problems at all. And then all of a sudden it was just like, what's going on? So he built a whole computer up there and he's, he, apparently he switched ingest servers and it fixed it. So as I, I'm going to just kind of talk about the day, talk about kind of leading up to it and everything. Answer, I'll look at, I'll answer pretty much any questions you guys have. And we'll go from here. But there are about 300 photos that are going to be in a slideshow behind the scenes. Uh, resident mod leather jacket took these photos. It was really cool. And, uh, uh, all right, I'm going to answer the burning question. I'll answer it. It's time to answer it. Do you still have the mustache? What do you think? Place your bets. Do you think it's still there? Were you wearing ass paddings? No, that's my real ass. Why would I? Okay. Why would I put in ass paddings? Do you, wh why would I do that? That would be so strange. You know, being in the umpire gear in the first place, having like the turtle armor on underneath is already kind of enough. I had these huge leg pads that I was supposed to wear, and I was like, no, no thanks. I did have a cup on, though, so all the people that were saying, holy shit, dude, you are so lucky. What if you took one right into the balls? I was wearing a cup. There's a, a clip uh, circulating around of me whacking myself with the bat and the balls. Yeah, I'm fine. I had a cup on. I don't recommend you do that at home. Don't try that at home, obviously. No, it's that you didn't. Why would I? You, I'm, that's one thing I'm going to protect, okay? I, all, what I told everybody that was in production, I said, make sure my face is good and make sure my balls are good. Well, I didn't say that to them, but like I was thinking that. Like, I don't care about anything else. I could take a ball to the, <laughs> I could take a ball to like the arm. I could take a ball to the, to the knee, to the chest, to the back. To, I don't care. The face, you we protect that. And the balls, we protect those too, right? Like I protect those. That's it. Balls and face. That's all I care about. Anyways, all right, it, it's time to reveal, uh, like this is a big deal or not, but a lot of you think I still have it and you are absolutely in career. Correct. It's still there. It's not as dark, I guess. <laughs> it's still there. What if that was pre-recorded? All right, I'll play the real video now. It's still there. So, um, you, there's going to be kind of a, a little bit of a reveal here. It's going to be a little bit of a reveal. Yes, I had a mustache during this show because I wanted one because I thought it would be fun and interesting and funny. Oh, he's like a big mustache. He's the mustache guy. It was it was filled in. It was filled in with the, the makeup artist filled it in. So it was darker. I can't actually grow a real mustache like that. This is what it looks like. It's filled in. But yeah, so this is I'm just going to let the slideshow play and we'll talk. If I see something interesting to bring up, I think it'd be fun to talk about, but uh, I, I, gotta, I can't stress this enough. So anytime that a show like this happens where you're bringing in a bunch of people that don't understand like Twitch and streaming culture, uh, so a lot of them did, but a lot of them didn't. And trying to explain to people like, hey, we're doing this live thing. This is what's going to happen. This is what we're doing. And from top to bottom of the order here, Every performer, every player, all the, the, the broadcasters in the broadcast booth. Oh my God, they fucking killed it. It didn't matter what position you were in. They were unfucking believable They were so funny and they were so good. I mean, yeah, there was obviously the weeks of preparation and then we, we spent a few days uh, talking to everybody and we, there was obviously a lot of direction, right? But still, that was a lot of fun. Were they real teams? Yes, those are real players. Ranging from uh, co college players to some of them saw some professional baseballs. I mean, those were real players. Those weren't those weren't actors. And yeah, fans leave that that fans leave the with with the streaker. I thought that was really funny. 
I thought that was really funny. And Fansley really came through hard. Fansley was a huge supporter of this stream. And I have to, I got to make it clear to everybody. Stuff like this can't happen without support like that. It just can't. Uh, the price tags on some of these shows, I don't think I've, I don't really need to talk about them, but you know, they're, they're, they're astronomical sometimes. So, um, I'm, I'm grateful and happy that sponsors actually wanted to come through and do some of this stuff. Um, cause it, it's, it's not that it's hard to sell a show like this to sponsors, but at the end of the day, it's like, oh yeah, we're going to do the circus and magicians baseball show where I'm like an umpire. I don't know umpiring. I don't know anything about the. I mean, I watched baseball when I was, I was like 17. It's like, oh, how much money is this show? I, I get it. I do. But at the end of the day, we get support from the places we get them. And it's, it was awesome. I thought it, I thought it flowed really well. Shave or I'm going to unsub. How about you relax? <laughs> Look, you, you could, how about you, you can unsub if you feel like it. You don't have to, because I have a fucking gross mustache. Oh, they were just making fucking deals. You know what I mean? Just, there he is, just making deals on the phone. There you go. Wait, wait, let's go back, 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 back. So everybody, everybody that was on the performance group, this is a bunch of performers. Uh, so people didn't realize that we, it was not just baseball players. It was baseball players. And it was like real circus performers blended in. A lot of these guys did not see a single, uh, a single time in the field. They did not see a single ball. There were, I want to say, we had 25 baseball players and like 12 uh, performers. Like, like 50, no, there they were, they were 12 like circus type performers, 25 baseball players, five other actors. So yeah, it, it, there was a lot of moving parts here. Uh, so anytime you saw something really interesting, like circus wise, or some magic tricks or whatever. It was, that was not a baseball player. Who were the commentators? They were the best part of the whole show. Yeah, they were unbelievable. Um, and that, let me just go, like, they did all that based on, so for, I want to say probably like an hour or two. Um, an hour or two before the show is when I sat down with those two and really was like, this is kind of what I'm looking for. This is kind of what, yeah. The world that is here, this is the kind of universe, and here's what we're going to do, here's what we're going to do, this, this is what you guys should talk about, this is what you shouldn't talk about. They got maybe one hour of direction, two hours of direction, and they carried that whole entire broadcast. It, they, were they confused? No! No, they were on point, they were ready to go, they knew everything to say. There was a lot of sexual innuendo. Well, um... You understand that we had a streaker with a Fansly integration. By the way, I need to confirm something right now. Very important, most important time, most important thing of the entire show. You might have seen it on Twitter. You might have seen it uh, posted somewhere and you may, can I confirm that that's true? Ball Fondler has officially been unbanned. They are officially not banned from the channel. They can post uh, freely. Probably just gonna get banned again. If I'm honest, I mean that, look, when you get the get out of jail free card in Monopoly, you d that, you know, you can get out of jail free, but that doesn't mean you can't go back to jail. It's not a get out of jail forever. Not this community, Jake. The, you'll see in, in a few minutes the amount of times that I, this, me and Jake had this like, because I was down here and he was up here. The amount of times that in between innings, we both like came running down to each other, like to this weird cage that we were both separated by it was just like hey so what's going on how we doing up there how we doing you got anything you need anything down here yeah yeah no, no i need uh, i need more balls to be uh supplemented down here how's it going how's it go how's the video going in the truck like we literally just came down to like the the blockage and then like bah, 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 and then turn around and run right oh this is the makeup yeah Every, the, the, you, you wouldn't believe how long it takes it takes a long time to paint like 20 people's faces in clown makeup it actually takes a fairly long time. So we had like two or three makeup artists just cycling people in. All right, you, your turn, your turn, your turn. It took about like two or three hours to do all this. All right, so this is this is before the show. This is where we're just kind of preparing because this is the first time we had really everybody together, which you can't see over here, but there's another probably 50 people sitting or 60 people or whatever of total sitting in these seats. And we were just deep, kind of doing a full kind of production meeting, right? Okay, here we go. Let's do it. 
And I hadn't eaten pretty much all day because I'm obviously just running around like crazy. So you're going to see a bunch of uh, footage of me with this same salad in my hand for like two, three hours. I don't know how many pictures there are of, of this, but it's, it's a solid probably uh, two to three hours I was walking around with this. Because, you know, I'm just like, I'm just eating, you know, I, I, there's no time to eat, right? There isn't. Anybody that's ever, like some of you guys that know this, when you're like working on something and you're really in the zone and you don't, you don't want to take any breaks, you're just, I'm ready to fucking go, let's go, right? Eating food sometimes is impossible because it's like, oh yeah, 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 I, I, I gotta eat food. No, that's gonna take like 30 minutes. I don't have time. Nope. No, not no time for that. I'll do it later. I'll eat later. So this is the I'll eat later. Uh, this is probably, I want to say, maybe an hour and 10 minutes before the show. So I'm just kind of like, well, maybe like two hours or so. I'm just like walking around with like the salad. Like, yeah, okay, no, no, that looks good. That looks good. We need you over here. Like just shoveling salad in my mouth. Salads are really easy to eat on the go. Because it does, here's the thing about a salad. And those of you that are like work kind of like on location and shit. A, 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 like a chi like chicken on salad. Just like, you know, strips of chicken with, with a salad cold as fuck. Cold. You can walk around with that for an hour or two. And now looking back at this, this, guy, this looks fucking weird. Now that I'm like seeing this, this looks very strange. This looks like, why am I? This is actually kind of strange when I'm thinking, when I'm looking back at this, me like, of like, okay, here's, let's, let's talk. Hold it. And there's like, a, is that a cut? All right. So I don't really like, all right, let me explain. I don't really like dressing on salads. I think it like kind of ruins the salad. It turns it into this weird mush. Uh, so I don't usually use the salad uh, dressing. So I like, I, yeah, I usually don't open the cup. And when they put the cups in there, I, it's like, I, don't, I just, sometimes I just leave them in just in case. And also doing, okay, so this is a very serious meeting. And there's something about a very serious meeting. Okay, guys, we're about two hours away from the show. My name's, uh, my name's German985. Uh, I know I've talked to you guys a lot over the last uh, few weeks, but here we are, uh, kind of like a, a let's, let's go kind of here. We, let, let's, let's talk, uh, session and, uh, doing a big meeting with your, I'm standing down here, like here, like off camera, looking up and, and describing to people. Okay. So then, uh, by the way, when the streaker comes out, uh, what we're going to have to do is everyone's going to still continue playing. And, uh, this guy's going to uh, get naked and what, and you're looking at a bunch of clown faces and a bunch of people that are just like, Okay, it's just like, what the fuck's happening? This is weird. This is a very strange conversation. Um, but I live for that shit, though. I, 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 this is like one of my favorite parts of every show is this. Like, we're all actually here and we're all actually going to do this. This is some of my favorite part of an any show. But yeah, so from up here, this is, yeah, this is me getting into my um fight. And people, people. I mean, at umpire gear, everyone's like, what is he fucking stupid? Why is he wearing his umpire gear under his clothes? What is he dumb? He's a, he's a child. That, that's what you do. You don't wear it over the clothes. It's, I'm not a, it's, I'm not a, uh, like you wear the armor under the clothes. You wear your football pad. They don't wear the football pads over the jerseys. No, you wear everything under the clothes. Yeah, people are like, oh, yeah, dude, like, I can't believe he's so dumb. He's wearing the armor under the clothes. <laughs> yeah, that's how where it goes. It's a bulletproof vest. It's why he's so red. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, so this is, this is where I was getting my fake mustache filled in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I kicked, I had to kick this guy out. I felt really bad because I had to be done because they had to mic me up. And I had to get into the production truck and be like, okay, because this is, this is like 25 minutes before the show, 30 minutes before the show. And I had to kick this guy out of the chair. So if you're wondering why he's, he's got this ring, it's because it's like, I got to get my mustache done. I got to get my mustache done and I, I've got to sit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. He's like, no, 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 I get it. I get it. So I sit down and I must have looked like such a weirdo. Like, so, so th this guy's about to get his face filled in with clown makeup and he has to move. Because this egomaniac wants to make sure his mustache looks good filled in for the camera. This is not a requirement. This is. This was not necessary. This was. So, I kind of just was like, I need my, I gotta get my mustache filled in. I have to get it filled in.
Everyone's just like waiting their turn. <laughs> it, it was disgusting too. I looked so... Yeah, look at how gross that is. It looks like there are wires coming out of my... Uh, over here. I can't grow a mustache. I really can't. Yeah, it, so uh, another thing that was is important for you guys to understand. The reason why we had so many balls come out and in... And don't, don't tell anybody. Don't don't want this is a secret. So obviously we had some dangerous shit that we were doing. And when you have three pitchers on the mound and a guy with like three bats in his hand, or somebody that can't see out of a mascot costume pitching to people, you gotta be careful. And we what we did was we used real baseballs and T-balls. Like, little league t-balls. So anytime somebody was going to get thrown at, or anytime there was going to be, okay, we got, there's a guy in a, in a mascot costume. He might take a baseball to the fucking face. He might take a baseball to, like, anywhere, because they were, they were not protected. The people in the mascot outfits were not wearing shin guards and cups, and they were, they were in mascot outfits. So we were using t-balls, and it's a good thing we were, because... People were just kind of sliding around, throwing them at each other, hitting each other with them and stuff. So uh, we, we had T-balls. When we were doing the actual baseball routines, just we were playing the game, we were using the real balls. So yeah, come on. You don't, you, don't, you don't think I was thinking of this? You don't think I thought of that? Safety Andy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, no, I, I, look, there's, there's not a scenario where I'm going to have the mascot pitch a real baseball to one of these, these high-level athletes that hit a line drive directly into the mascot's balls and send the person to the hospital. <laughs> it's not going to happen. And everyone's saying, why were you accentuating your ass so much? I wasn't. This is what you're supposed to do as an umpire. I, I, I trained to be an umpire. I watched videos. I watched... The ball formula wants me to play Skyrim. Oh, that's at least a fucking 30 minute ban. Ban him again. No, ban him for 30 minutes. That's a, what 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 a dumb thing to say. Uh um okay, but anyways. So as an umpire, you need to be able to see the whole strike zone. And you need to keep your chin level with the catcher's head with your right knee in it's called getting into the spot, into the sort of back of the catcher, leaning in, head up, chin up, level. That's what I was doing. So I'm not like arching my back to be like, oh yeah, I'm like, look at my ass. No, I'm doing, this is what, is umpire stance. I think, okay, the empty seats make this funnier to me because this is nobody here. Like, well, the Germa Baseball Association, in fact, I've got this entire league of baseball and there's, Obviously, people have to be paid to be here and play, and there's a whole operation, and no one's here. Nobody gives a shit about this. It's like part of it for me. <laughs> I'm so glad that the pie, they actually got the pie being filmed, because I... All right. So, there were two gags that I wanted to do in this kind of inning where I knew I was going to have to... I was going to... This was not, I didn't know when this was going to happen, but I knew we were going to do it. I knew I was going to get pied in the face. I wanted someone in the audience to throw a full large soda, a full fountain drink and hit me directly in the forehead. And we thought about it. We were like, how do we make that? How do we make that work? Right? Because this net was here, but I wanted someone to stand up and I wanted them to like full on throw a full fountain soda. And I wanted it to hit me right in the fucking mouth. I wanted it to be like explode in my face and like, boom. And it would be unbearably awful to look at. I wanted to get hit directly in the face. Um, uh, but we, they, they, we, there was no way we could do it without it. Um, why commitment, commitment. Do you guys know that when me and stir did the, he broke into my house and we argued over the money. There was going to be a routine where we were like talking and hanging out and being like, oh, yeah, no, OK, whatever, man, like, fuck you. We were going to have another routine where I got up, I got us sodas and he was going to do a huge loogie while I got up into my soda and I was going to drink it. 
So I, like, I'm, I'll do it. If it's, if I think it was, if I think it was gonna be funny enough, I would have done it. You guys are fucked. No. Well, I mean, this is, I, we, we were just sitting there thinking, like, wouldn't that be funny if you like did like a huge, like, oh yeah, man, yeah, yeah, no, dude, I'm completely water under the bridge, it's fine. Oh yeah, dude, thanks for the coke. Oh yeah, I'll be right back. And he's just like, boom. And I fucking just, oh man, I, I love soda, and just like fucking chuck the whole. So yes, I wanted to take a full fountain soda to the face and have it hit me in the face and have it hurt. Get a cigarette sponsorship. Stop talking about cigarettes, you weird person. Stop talking about me smoking cigarettes. There's, okay, there's like a, a, there's a group of people in this community that like are cigarette Andes and they think it's like wicked funny. They're like, oh, hey dude, like say, like, you know, type, type like, hey, you should smoke a pack of cigarettes on screen today. They're like this. They're, they're like the cigarette comedians. There's a group of cigarette comedians that are in this community. I mean, it's I guess it's kind of funny, but no, I would never have a cigarette sponsor. I don't smoke cigarettes, and I don't. I don't like. Well, you know what? Who fucking knows, right? Okay, on the next one, who knows? But I will tell you that yes, there is a next one, and the next one is gonna be fucking crazy, and I'm gonna spoil it right now. I'm gonna spoil the next show right now. You ready? Baseball's over. Baseball's over. I can talk about this now. I'm going to spoil this. It's time for you to get fucking spoiled. I'm just kidding. It is not wrestling. But I will tell you it is. Okay, here's a spoiler. You want your spoiler? Fine. It's not going to be three years from now. I'm hopeful that this can be a thing we're doing by the end of the year. Or earlier, depending. I will tell you who it is. I'll tell you who is involved. There's going to be a stream on this channel in the next so on months, whenever it is, starring uh, somebody who's become a pretty good friend of mine, although I don't, I'm not really a friend, I'd say more of an acquaintance. Uh, you all know him as Mr. Greens. Um, he's working on something. He wants some of my help uh, promoting it and uh, shouting it out, I guess. So I, I don't want to give too many details away, but I've been contacted by Mr. Greens to uh, help with uh, promoting something, and I'm, I'm, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it. I haven't decided yet, but this will be a, this. This is according to what Mr. Greens has uh, has told me. Uh, this is this is going to be a fucking huge show, huge. That's all I'm going to tell you. And you're saying it, Austin. We had the we had the sign in the outfield, so let's talk about it. Grotto beasts. I you know the signs in the outfield. Oh, this is a great this is a great picture. Uh, the sign is was in the outfield here, and it's uh, it's coming along. I will reliably tell you, we are, I want to say, maybe two to three months away from taking pre-orders. It is imminent. There's been a lot of play testing. Apparently, very fun. It's a full game. It's got a lot of cards, and. It, we're very hopeful that I can finally tell you that somewhere into holiday of this year is when you will actually be able to purchase this and own it. They're physical NFTs. It's a fucking card, man. It's no, you stop saying that. <laughs> oh, yeah, this part's so funny. Okay, so uh, we asked if they could smoke. Like, oh yeah, is it okay to have like a cigarette? Like, is the you know the the circus? You know, I got I, my my guy sitting out there smoking. We we were gonna do a routine where everyone on the bench on the circus team had a cigarette in their mouth, and they were all smoking. But um, it turns out that was not gonna fly. So we we were allowed to have like one, but every single person we wanted a shot of like twenty people in the dugout just all having a cigarette in their mouth. But we also wanted to respect the field, too, and that's, uh, I, I don't want to, you know, disrespect somebody else's space. If it's like, no, that's not fucking okay, <laughs> then like, okay. What a cigarette comedian that would be. All right. <clears throat> All right, you got me. No, you got me. No, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm a hypocrite. That's that's fair. How many people involved knew what your streams were beforehand? Um, there were a few people that knew the channel, but we kept it really under wraps for a long time because obviously we didn't want the location to leak prematurely. Because look, there's there's one thing about having your location leak 10 minutes into the show and you have security versus the location is leaked a month or two before the show and people know where it's going to be. There's a huge difference. So that was obviously part of the reason why um, we, we kept it really kind of tight, even to, to cast and crew. Uh, but a few days before the show and like obviously during the show and the day before the show, people people did know. What was what you what was the thing that you needed this particular location for Why you delayed it? Well, there were a couple of reasons why this show was changed a few times. Here's here's the, the kind of long and short of it. So back in 2020, when I wanted to do the show originally. I mean, lockdown happened in March. And we had we all these designs that you're seeing here, a lot of them were we did. There was a lot of pre work that were, was already done. We were about to print the jerseys before we said, no, we can't do it. So lockdown happened in March of 2020. And then March, April, May, June, July, it was like July of 2020 when I wanted to do this show. And th that was back when they were saying that people having more than 10 people in a room was was not allowed. It was like you couldn't do it. It was like very, very ill advised against. There was no vaccines at that point. There was no treatment at that point. So we were just like, Am I really going to put like 60 people in the same area, in the same room, three or four months after lockdown? There's no, no, testing was not even easy either. You, it wasn't like you could go to uh, CVS and go get 20 uh, tests. No, it wasn't like that. So I just said, you know what, whatever. Cancel all the shows I really wanted to do and we'll just come back to this later. And then in 2021, we had... We had a venue, we, we had a certain venue. We were at a different stadium. And we had to change it because there was something, I, I don't want to speak completely wrong here, but there was a venue problem that we couldn't really, we, had, we couldn't overlook it. And it was like, you know what? It was right before baseball season was about to start, kind of around the same, because here's the thing. Getting baseball players, they play baseball in the baseball season. and tr and. Trying to get a stadium like this or any of the other ones during the season where everyone's playing is almost impossible because there, there's games here. There's games here every day. There's games here every other day, right? In a lot of these stadiums. So minor league, uh, semi-pro leagues, you can't just be like, hey, I want uh, uh, clowns and magicians to throw pies at each other. It's like, well, we have a, we're in the middle of a fucking season, man. You can't do that. But this year, when we finally got it off the ground... Something that a lot of people might not realize about a stadium is it's not really just baseball. There's a lot of work that goes into a stadium on the field. And from my understanding, you, they will not, a lot of stadiums do not want you to play ball on their field unless it is ready to play ball on. There's liability problems, right? Like, hey, the mound was fucked up and one of my guys fell off the rubber and broke his ankle. There's a lot of stuff that they can kind of cancel shows for and can can um, events for. But yeah, it, 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 a lot goes into getting the ink dry on having this kind of location, um, which was a huge pain in the ass. But thankfully, we finally got into agreement with CarShield and they were completely on board with everything. So it was like, yes, finally, we got the venue. The venue was the hardest thing to get. And then the players, two of the hardest things. This was planned to like I want. OK, so one of the things that I want to do is I wanted to throw too many people out. So I had to play in the game. One thing that I didn't get to do that I really wanted to do. So the joke was I was going to throw out too many people on the circus side. So then I would have to play in the game. And I wanted to go into center field and still call balls and strikes from center field. You were a trash umpire. OK, I got the whole field to look at here. I wanted to be in center field and be like. You want to know what I found out about a hotel room recently staying in a hotel in St. Louis? You cannot watch a horror movie in a hotel room. You can't watch a horror movie in a hotel room. I was watching, I, I, I look, I, wa I was watching uh, The Black Phone and I'm sitting there watching it. And 
every so often there's just people screaming like <laughs> and i'm just sitting there like fucking turn the volume down like i swear to god nobody's getting killed in here you know what i mean like all the, when you go to a hotel room you are surrounded by complete strangers sleeping in other rooms near you you can't fucking watch a horror movie in a hotel room you'd have to sit there and you just go like all right let's put it this was a scary one let's put it on the second that you hear that scream and then you fuck uh, i can't now there's like something going on i can't even hear the dialogue because what do you what do they say i i gotta i i can't watch this and then you turn it all the way down and you don't, you're missing dialogue, so you're like, fuck, I gotta turn it up, 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 up. I still can't hear it. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Another scream, and it's even louder than the first one that you tried to correct with the volume decrease in the first place. And I'm just imagining somebody walking down the hall, whether somebody from, like, a staff uh, member of the hotel, or somebody, like, getting out, like, oh, okay, kids, it's time to go to the water park. And you just hear somebody screaming, fucking screaming for their life in this room. You can't watch a horror movie in a hotel room. Unless you turn it all the way down really low and put on subtitles. And it, it sucks. It's such a pain in the ass because you have to volume down, volume up, volume down, volume up. Vo You're like this weird remote control quarterback of the whole. And I just, I just want to watch the movie. Yeah, this is a, the, the brawl. And they they took the brawl seriously. Yes, this was supposed to happen. It just, <laughs> I can tell you, I don't want to ruin the show, but it was really funny how this actually ended up. I, should I do? This is behind the scenes shit. Let's talk about it. Okay. So, do you want to hear the behind the scenes of how fucked up the the last like 20 minutes was? If you don't want to have the magic of the show ruined, I would mute now and come back in 10 minutes. Okay, so do you see the inning that we're in right now? This is the top of the 10th inning. This is, this is no, this is the, the bottom of the 10th inning. We went to extra innings. We were not supposed to go to extra innings. So what happened was the magician's team was playing really well. And it got to a point where they were ahead by way too much because they had to be in their dugout for the crunch take routine because they charge out of their dugout in the footage that we had already recorded. So we were like, oh shit, we can't end the game because the magicians have to be in their dugout. They have to charge from their dugout. So it was like, hmm. Okay, I'm going to blow a bunch of shit calls and I'm going to make sure that the uh, game gets tied so we go to extras. There you go. Now, what happened in extras, I was not, I couldn't control. We just needed to make sure that they got another at bat so they could charge out to the field. Of course, it's rigged, you dummies, LMAO. <laughs> but it wasn't, though. Okay. We just lost track of the, fa okay, the entire game was not scripted well hold on a second wait a minute if you have a problem with that hold on a second those of you that have a problem with the magicians getting that extra at bat wait a minute hold on here though the california circus got a free run that was predetermined because of the mascot fight um sorry that circus run was a predetermined run is every stream you've ever done scripted? No, not this one. This is the first one. The fact that it ended with the magicians winning and then devolving into the funniest German moment in a long time is the best thing about the baseball stream. Yeah, I, I mean, I, it was just fun. It was just fun. I, I knew it was going to be fun. I think, like, Jake asked me this question. Some people in production, uh, some of the performers come up and then, like, I, we, like we just talked about, so I, I like I get approached by some people on the crew and they're just like, why did you like do this? Why, what's the point of this? Is it, are you like, why, why this? Why this? And I have the same answer and the answer I'll give you too. The same answer I'll give anybody. I thought it would be funny. That's it. That's all it takes. I saw in my head. Okay. So before Dollhouse. The only reason why I wanted to do Dollhouse is because I, in my head, I was like imagining, I was kind of watching in my head people in these black spandex suits moving furniture around in, a, in like a house that I was like frozen in because it's like the buy phase. And that was the only reason why I wanted to do it. That was like the sole reason to be like, I'm going to start writing it 
and I want to write the whole thing and I want to get the whole thing the way I want it. It's like a one joke is what makes me want to do something. And the one joke that I wanted to do here that made the whole thing happen was this end of the game thing. The fact that it's this not just this game. Oh, look, hey, here we are at crunch time. We're going to go to the other games to me was like. That was why I wanted to do the show, because that would be that, that would be funny. And that's it. So after that one thing that I see in my head that I think is interesting or funny enough for me is when I go, OK, so now how do I make a whole thing out of this? How do I do a whole show? How do I how would I do it? And then I'm like, you know, I start like writing. OK, so the German Baseball Association, I guess that's what it is. OK, so here we are, blah, blah, blah. And this is what's happening. And this is a, it's a beautiful day and whatever. And I, I just sort of write a bunch of jokes and a bunch of things that I want to do and see. Then I get on the phone and I start talking to Community Jake, who is the production guy. He's like the, yeah, let's try to make that happen. I send him the, all the, the stuff that I write and we go back and forth for months. And then it happens. Admit it. You just want to be Brewster's Millions IRL. Uh, what a specific reference. Remember, your entire stream was an American Dad episode. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, it was also a Simpsons episode, too. It, no, Futurama. It was also in Futurama. Who were the audience members? Uh, the audience members were friends and family, although some people were uh, kind of, I guess, screened at the door and were allowed to come in eventually. So, but like we did have, we had security at the doors. And eventually it was like they were screened and they were like allowed to come in, I think is how it worked. It was the fight. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, I think at this point it was over. I think we, I think we, they, I think they cut out already here. Oh my god, he, he got all, oh my god, I didn't even see that. What? <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit, they all taking their clothes off. This wasn't even in the, sh the show. He got stuck in that. Yeah, see, I got pied again. See, right. look at me. I'm on the right. I'm on the left over there. I got I got another pie directly in the face. <laughs> that's so funny. This sucks. No, yeah, that sucks. He's that's the, here's the best part. Right now, he is going. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck! Ow, ow, ow! And he's like, hold on, man, don't touch it, don't touch it, man, don't touch it, dude, don't touch it, don't touch it. I know what that's like. Yeah, I know what it's like. It sucks. And then, yeah, this is great. Once it was like, hey, it's all good and done. This was this is the coach for the magicians. This was Joy Handsome. No, it was a great time. It's real. I, I, I didn't get to see these. So this is really I, I'm really happy about this. <laughs> everyone at this point, everyone's got their clothes off. People, everyone's clothes are all off. <laughs> the, hair, the hair like pulled back. These, these are fucking great. Oh my god. Holy shit. Cookie the clown. Cookie the clown is is fucking stacked. Whoa. <laughs> this photo is fucking crazy. This photo is crazy. This is an insane photo. This, this is my favorite photo of the whole night. And everyone's saying Dude, why do you make the same face in every photo? I don't know. Who well, you make different faces in your if, if, if it's like, hey, let's get a picture. It's like I don't like make. I just like this. That's my take a photo face. It's just like is that is that weird? I always make the same. Yeah, you make like this because you know why you make the same face in every single photo because you know exactly what that face looks like. If you change it up, right? If you like you practice that take a photo face like Okay, you change that up. I don't know what the fuck that looks like. I have no idea what that looks like. I'm not doing that. I have no idea what I look like. I might look like a crazy. I might look like a fucking weirdo. I might be like I might I might look crazed. 
No, you have the one face that you know exactly what it looks like and you do it every time. Nice, lifeless eyes. It's a photo. I'm sorry. I'm not like, what do you want? Uh, it's just, it's a, you dub taking a picture. Were you actually frustrated during the event or was it an act? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's part of the gig, right? It, I mean, it's part of the, um, part of the fun. I was actually, there was a point where I was genuinely upset. And it was when I got in my ear for the first time that we were like dropping frames. And I was just like, nowhere we can't be, right? So that I, I was a little pissed off at that point. But after another inning went by, they turned it off, changed servers, went back to normal. Not another problem the entire rest of the night. So that I, I went from like being annoyed to, oh, thank God. Thank God that like the last two hours of the show is fine. Thank goodness it's not. Because one of the things I was really concerned about when we started actually having those internet like ingest whatever they were problems. There was a loud fuck on stream at one point. Oh, that was fake. Yeah, that was early on. Oh, the fuck. The, the loud fuck. I know exactly what you're talking about. Do we have a clip? Explain what, what happens here. So they're going to give a second base to Smith. And run another run scored, I do believe. So it should be 5-0. Run scores. Run scores. Wow. Albertson confirms. Right on top of. Oh my God, that was violent. Why did? Oh, it's because I got the pie in the face. It was from the because that I got hit, hit with the pie and I'm I'm irritated. I'm like throwing some people out. Oh yeah. Okay, that's actually funny. <laughs> that's actually really funny. No, I was not actually mad. I was, I mean, I guess I was supposed to be because this is right after the pie and this, I threw out like three people. Right on top of it. Dude, the people in the stands must have thought I was insane because I remember I was turned toward the audience and I like screamed it out like towards the audience. <laughs> Can you imagine? Super aggressive. Oh, it sounded like a stock sound effect. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't, I don't know, because I figured it was appropriate to yell that, because uh, I'm, I don't know. Wasn't there a seven-year-old there? I mean. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Family friendly. Well, no, we did tell, okay, we did tell everybody that was going to come, that this was a comedy, this was like a, a like a potential R-rated comedy routine. We did say that. We did say this was a comedy show. This is a comedy show. And Fansley was the sponsor. You should have thrown out the seven-year-old. This probably, I don't know, what do you want me to say? You miss, when the mascot started fighting, the kid's dad picks him up. <laughs> Uh, remember we were at PAX East 2018 and this little 10 year old with his dad approached you and said he was a big fan and I could just see the shock on your face because he definitely shouldn't have been watching you. I, yeah, I remember that. Hey, when do you, listen, when you come to this stream, you have to click a button. You ha have to, you have to click a button. That button says something very specific. What does it say? This broadcast is intended for mature audiences. Okay, you have to click that button. And look, I can't, I, I, I cannot stop somebody from coming here. I, I, if somebody is not like 18 and they're, oh, this is a mature stream, it's 18. Oh, it's, uh, it's uh, at least, at least, uh, you know, at least you got to be at least a certain age. I, I, I can't look into this screen and see fucking how old you are. I, look, listen, listen to me. Look, listen, 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 listen to me. Okay, hear me out. Listen to me. That's how you know I'm about to start talking. That's how, okay. Oh, hey, hey, is Jeremy going to start talking? Oh, hear me out. Listen to me for a sec. That's like a, before every sentence I've ever said. Okay, but listen to me, for real. I try to have this stream be a fun place. It's, I try to be like positive about shit. I try not to be like, do anything too bad or fucked up. You know what I mean? Like I try to have it be like a decent moment. For, I, I try to have it be fun, but 
I, I genuinely want people to leave this stream with like a, oh, I, that I had fun, right? That's it. I cannot control who is here. I can't. All I can do is put the warnings up, right? How are babies made? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out for years. A bird flies in and drops it off like a big stork comes into your window. I, I still don't know. I still don't understand. I don't know. Since all the game used baseballs are gone, can you replace them with the ass used ones? Oh, how much would that sell for? I'm just thinking, remember, you clicked mature audience when you right when you fucking came here. What would that sell for? What would that actually sell for if it was a fucking open auction? Open auction. No, it, would, it, it was open for like a month. Do you think that that would go for more than? Do you think that would go for more than ten thousand dollars, at most sixty thousand dollars minimum? No, it would not. I would pay two thousand unironically. Uh, oh, really? Really? Germa's ass baseball would pay two thousand dollars for this baseball. Judging by that, the fact that that's your username, I would imagine that would be a lot higher. So you're telling me that if I sold. Like, let's, you, you say I could get 50 fucking grand for each one of these. Are you shitting me? So if I just, if I sold 10 ass baseballs for half a million dollars, are you kidding me? Oh man, I really need to find sponsors. These shows are really expensive. Oh yeah, I'm, I, got, I got, I signed with Evolve. We're so going to be doing a bunch of uh, sponsorships. Uh, it's today's sponsor stream. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, I got uh, uh, sponsored by this. But put 10 baseballs up your ass and pay for every fucking show. Really? Really? Do, do 10 to 20 baseballs and you have the budget for the next fucking year or two of shows. Really, guys? Are you kidding me? Really? Are you, don't, are you serious with me? It's that easy. <laughs> Can you imagine the articles? Oh, uh, E-Clown live streamer Jeremy Elbertson decides to uh, actually actually have a, his uh, Fansly account uh, where he's uh, selling shoved baseballs up his ass to do what he loves, and that's put on the next big stream, uh, and it's going to cover everything. <laughs> Ball Fondler was right. No, that's never going to happen. I'm just saying, I'm just making the argument to... <laughs> I just have to put two, 10 baseballs near my ass, like, and I would have enough money to do anything. Like, what the fuck? Oh, we really got to figure out how we're going to pay for this show. I get on the phone with, with Community Jake. Yep. Okay. It's going to cost this. This is going to cost this. Well, if we really want to get that, it's going to cost this. That's a lot of fucking money. Okay. Yeah. It's going to go. How are we going to, we're going to have to reach out to some sponsors. That's going to take months. It's going to take months. It's going to take months of back and forth figuring it out. Or put 10 baseballs up your ass, Jeremy. I don't know where that, I actually don't know if that's been on the ground. How much for that chapstick? No, we're not, we're not doing this anymore. I need to get away from this topic. But isn't that insane to think about that? All the meetings, the dozens of meetings, dozens of them figuring out how to pay for this show. Dozens of them. Different going, if trying to find like, you know, the meetings and okay, like, let's, let's go, let's get down to business here. <laughs> it's like, sometimes you think you're just like, what the fuck, man? But yeah, that's the photos and that. It was awesome. I'm glad I got to share that. Thanks. Special huge thanks to uh, Leather Jacket. Leather Jacket uh, came out here and did all this. So big shout out to uh, Leather Jacket for this. And that that was the show. That was the baseball show.